Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. While the shop manager is off to the side eating weeds, we're gonna remove some oxidation. Oxidation is a chemical process and it normally happens when heat and oxygen come together on painted surfaces, drying out the paint's oils and oil content. Uh, this process is gradual and starts at the surface and works its way deep. And if you catch it in time, you can be completely successful removing it and correcting it. The first thing you want to do is wash your car, and that's already done. And this is what's left behind. Uh, you can also clay. That would be a great idea. Uh, we are going to pop the hood because the oxidation runs to the edge of the hood, which is tight up against the headlight and some trim. So we'll just prop it up slightly, get it away from the surface. That way, when we uh, wet sand, and we're going to do that right here with 3000 grit, and if we accidentally go off the edge of the hood, we will not bump up against the light or the trim. So we're going to keep sanding until you see this white frothy uh, film or sediment uh, that will start to accumulate and run off the hood. And that's what this stuff here is. And that is the dead paint molecules or the clear coat. And since I can see through and oxidation is rough, I'm going to sand until I can see it's smooth and then I know the oxidation has been shaved off or exfoliated or the best word um, to describe the process. I can see this portion of the hood is now nice and smooth, and that's another reason I like to wet sand. The first reason is the water keeps the dust collected. In case you were doing this inside your shop and you're just dry sanding, the dust particles are airborne and can get absolutely everywhere. Wet sanding contains it, just runs off the side of the vehicle. So um, I can also see through it uh, easily and see the surface as I'm working it. And we are now good to go. And this is what it looks like after step one. For the next step, we're going to grab the cheap cobalt polisher that came free with the batteries and charger. I want to show you, you could do this on your own, and you do not need expensive professional tools and products to get the job done. Just a little bit of patience. We're going to team it up with a polish, and I'm going to do a crisscross pattern up and down, and then left and right over the affected area, and I'm going to polish a larger area that I sanded in attempt to blend it in, if that makes sense. The polish chosen is transparent so I can see through and I can tell when I have polished the sand marks completely off from the surface. So we'll grab a microfiber towel and wipe off the residue. Completely repaired better than new, which means the oxidation did not reach deep down into the clear or into the color coat, and we are good to go.
We are not finished, however. If you'll take notice, we made a nice, clear, bright and shiny spot on the hood. And the rest of the hood cannot be ignored. So we will polish the rest of the hood, blend it in, make the uh, repaired area blend in a little bit better, match everything, use a panel prep to clean off any polish residue, and we will protect because we did shave that area. We shaved some clear coat, uh, the dead paint molecules. We want to build up that area a little bit with some sort of protection. The projection of choice is an easy choice. That's going to be blue collar too. We are outside in direct sunlight and heat, and we will be coating this vehicle with blue collar too. This is a 12 month ceramic spray sealant spray coating. And I like to apply it like this. I just take the top right off and dab two dots onto a microfiber applicator pad and spread out. And with those two dots, I know I can, I have enough product on the pad to protect half of a hood this size. And as you'll see, even in direct sunlight and heat, I'm not rushing it. I'm not um, over exaggerating everything and trying to fly through it just so I can wipe it off. I'm taking my time, folding the microfiber and it wipes off easily. That's all there is to it. No high spots, no hazing, no streaking. The side of the hood is protected. We just need to quick jump over to the other side and get the driver's side protected as well. Better than new. Better than new, but we're going to put some numbers behind what we're seeing when it comes to gloss. And these numbers will increase as the sealant or the spray coating cures. Um, we want to let it sit for four hours. Then we're going to top it and send the vehicle on its way. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. And we'll catch you in the next video.